are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Oh, hi there, boys and girls. Welcome to Gateway Kids Club Storytelling. My name is Dwayne, and I am just here enjoying this beautiful sunshine, drinking my nice ice-cold pineapple shake, and looking at the beautiful view ahead of the wonderful island surrounding this wonderful island. Well, you know, we can't travel now, but no one's going to stop us from imagining ourselves on a wonderful island holiday. So boys and girls, Welcome to my imaginary Kids Club Island. Hey, today you're in for a treat because I don't have just one, not two, but three legends that I'd like to share with you today. And they're all legends about some wonderful islands surrounding our island, Singapore. Are you ready? Great, let's get started. Let's start with the first familiar island, this. How many of you have been to the island Pulau Ubin? It's a fun island to go to. Did you know that you can go cycling at Pulau Ubin? There are lots of adventurous trails that people and visitors like to go there to go cycling. Well, this island is off Singapore, and so you can't go by land or you can't drive there. You would have to take a bum boat. Have you sat on a bum boat before? It's really fun. You sit on it and it goes really fast. And you feel the wind blowing against your face. And when you're on the island, you can rent a bike and go cycling the whole day. The view is beautiful. There are lots of trees, coconut trees, pineapple trees, banana trees, palm trees. And there is also a kampong. Do you know what a kampong is? A kampong is a Malay word for village. It's characterized by small houses, built with wood and bricks and stone and zinc roofs. And if you are tired after a long day cycling, you can just drink some cold coconut and enjoy the view. It's a fun place to go. By the way, do you know how Pulau Ubin came about? Well, let me share with you this story. It came about with three friends having fun. Mm -hmm. This is the story of the elephant, the frog, and the pig. Once upon a time, there were three friends. The elephant, the frog, and the pig. Now these friends really loved to have fun. They played tons of games together. Life was a lot simpler then because there was no television, there was no computer games, there were no iPhones or iPads. They played all sorts of other games like hopscotch or um, skipping. They played hide and seek and catching ice and water. And one of my favorites, Grandmother's Footsteps. Have you played that game before? Okay, why don't we play this game now? Okay, I'm gonna teach you how to play Grandmother's Footsteps. So someone will be the grandmother and I'll be the grandmother for now. And you need to sneak up on the grandmother and steal food from the fridge without her knowing. Okay, to play this game, I need all of you to stand up on your feet. Okay, get off your couches, get off your beds. Now, I want you to move 10 steps away from your screens. So if your computer is here, I want you to move 10 steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, make sure you have enough space. So every time the grandmother, which is me, disappears from your screen like this, whoosh, can you see me? Great, when you can't see me, I want you to start tipping toe towards the screen. So you go like this. Shh. Good. Your aim is to touch your television screens or your computers as fast as you can, but quietly. However, if I were to pop back on screen like this, freeze! I need you to freeze wherever you are, even though you're almost touching the screen. Can you do that? Okay, let's try, okay? Trial round, okay, boys and girls? gonna disappear now. The grandmother's gonna disappear. Ooh. Now you guys need to start going towards the screen. Freeze! 
Okay, not bad. Let's try again. I'm gonna go off screen. Start walking. Tiptoe, tiptoe, freeze. Okay, don't move. I can see your nose twitching. Okay, boys and girls, I think you've got the hang of it. Okay, let's start. All of you, take 10 steps away from your screens. We're gonna start the game, okay? Grandmother is going to sleep. She's going off screen. So start tipping toe towards your screen. Freeze! Hmm, let's see, is anyone moving? Good, going back to sleep now. Start moving, freeze! Hmm, not bad. I see your fingers twitching and you're almost giggling. Okay, let's try this again. Oh man, you guys are great. Some of you have already touched the screen. Well done. Well, boys and girls, this game is really fun. You can get your mommy and your daddies to play along with you, as well as the entire family. And you can take turns to be the grandmother as well. Okay, okay, so back to the story of the elephant, the frog, and the pig. Well, these friends really enjoy playing all kinds of games. One day, the elephant had a suggestion. <clears throat> I'm really bored. I think we should play something else. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we go for a swim? The frog was really excited. <clears throat> Ribbit, I, I agree. I'm the fastest swimmer among the three of you. We should swim across the sea to the island of Johor Bahru. Piggy was very, very excited. Oh, that sounds great. Why don't we have a competition and see who swims the fastest? The first person across the sea wins. Now, their parents had overheard the conversations and they were really worried. <clears throat> oh, children, I don't think it's very, very wise for you to go and swim in the sea. You don't know what's lurking out in the sea. The currents are very strong and you're not very good swimmer, so I suggest that you go and play something else and not try to swim across to the other side. The problem was that these three friends were very, very stubborn, and they did not want to listen to the warnings and the advice of their parents. So the next day, they snuck out of the house and went towards the beach. They were ready to jump into the sea to swim across. However, they met with a very wise old rabbit. <laughs> I am a very wise old rabbit that you met with. Now I'm warning you, if you are going swimming in the sea, <coughs> it's very dangerous because legend has it that if you stop swimming, you will turn into stone, no, no, no. Stone, no, no, no. Beware. The three friends, of course, were too stubborn and they did not listen to the warnings or the advice of the wise old rabbit. They didn't care. And so they went ahead with their exciting plans into the water and splash! They swam and swam as fast as they could. Now, the pig and the elephant were swimming ahead, but poor little froggy, he was really getting tired. Ribbit, 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 <laughs> ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> His tiny arms and legs were no match for the strong currents and the waves. And eventually he got so tired he gave up. <laughs> and he sank into the waves. As the waves cleared, an island emerged. <gasps> he had turned into stone. And this later was known as the island of Sakudu, which also means Frog Island. Oh man, the wise rabbit was right. Now, Ellie and Piggy were really, really frightened. And so they didn't want to turn into stone as well. And so they swam as fast as they could. Hurry up, I don't want to be an island. Let's swim. And so they swam as fast as they could. However, they too got really, really tired and eventually they stopped swimming and sank into the water. <laughs> and in place, when the waves cleared, an island appeared. Hmm? They too had turned to stone. This island was later called by the villagers as Pulau Ubin. Now, you may be asking, but Pula Ubin is one island. Weren't there two animals? Well, you see, over time, 
farmers and fishermen developed a place for prawn farming. And so they had to build mud banks to create a dam to keep out the water. Over time, these two islands merged into one giant island. That's why we have Pula Ubin. Oh, that was the legend of how Pula Ubin was formed. Now, if only the animals had listened to their mummy as well as a wise old rabbit, maybe they wouldn't have turned into stone. <laughs> hey, the second story is also about another animal that turned into stone, into this huge island that we now call Kusu Island. Do you know what Kusu Island means? Let me give you a clue for those who don't understand Malay. It's Malay for this animal, and it goes like this. Swish, swish, swish. Also because I have no idea what it sounds like, so I'm just assuming that it sounds like this in the water. Swish, swish, swish. Did you guess turtle? That's right. Okay, let's all try to create turtles with our hands. Put your left hand in, put your right hand in, stick your two thumbs out, and you swirl it all about. That's great, let's sing it together. Put your left hand in, put your right hand in, stick your two thumbs out and you swirl it all about. And there you have your own little turtle. So every time we talk about turtles, I want you to do this with me. Can you do that? Great. So this is the story of Kusu Island, or also it means Turtle Island. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, there were two friends, a Malay man and a Chinese man. They loved to go for expeditions out at sea. So one day, they took their boat out onto the sea. They were enjoying the nice sunshine, the breeze blowing against their faces, as well as a therapeutic rocking of the boat. Whoosh, swish, swish. However, suddenly the sky started to become dark and it started to drizzle and the rain became heavier, and the waves became heavier. The weather took a turn for the, way, for the worst. The boat started rocking violently. Oh no, were they going to capsize? Oh no, we are going to sink, cried one of them. They tried to scoop the water out of the boat. It's no use, there's too much water in the boat. Oh no, the rain is too heavy. Help, help. Boys and girls, can you help me? I need to shout help. Maybe some boats might be around and hear us. One, two, three. Help! Help! Oh no, there's no use, no one is around. But in the distance, they saw a huge creature that was floating towards them. Dun, 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 dun. What was it? It looks like an upside down basket. Dun, 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 dun. No, it looks like an upside down hat. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, it's a, it's a turtle. Swish, swish. A huge turtle had started swimming towards the boat as if asking the two friends to climb onto its shell. The two friends were so desperate, they got out of their boat and climbed onto the shell of the turtle. They were saved because just then a huge wave came and washed the entire boat, dragging it into the sea. The two friends were saved on the top of the turtle shell, but the turtle knew that it was still susceptible to the strong currents and waves and winds it needed to root itself to the seabed so it's strong and protect the two friends. And so it transformed itself into a huge, strong, sturdy island, complete with nooks and crannies and caves. The two friends were able to hide inside a cave until the storm subsided. The turtle had saved the lives of these two friends. The two friends were very, very grateful to the turtle. And so they revisited the island as a form of pilgrimage. Do you know what a pilgrimage is, boys and girls? Well, a pilgrimage is like a journey that people take to a particular place or location where a great event had happened. In this case, a turtle had saved the lives of two friends. These two friends were extremely grateful, so they created shrines and places of worship so that other pilgrims might be able to go there to show their gratitude to the turtle that saved the lives of these two friends. The end. <laughs> well, if you go to Kusu Island now, you'll be able to see a Chinese Tua Pei Gong temple. Many visitors go there every year to pray for health, for wealth, as well as for fertility. Around the temple, there is a turtle lake and many, many stone statues of turtles. And if you climb even higher and higher ground, you will find three Malay shrines which attracts worshippers who go there to pray for fertility, 
for their family, for wealth and good health. Now, legend has it that the island, Kusu Island, was in the shape of a turtle. However, because of land reclamation and development, that feature is no longer that obvious. But we will always remember the story behind this island, all thanks to the humble, noble turtle that saved the lives of two friends. Wow, Kusu Island. I'd like to go there one day. Are you ready for our final story? Well, this story is not about animals. It's about two sisters that turned into an island that we now know as the Sisters Island. Once upon a time, there was an old widow who had two beautiful daughters. Okay, where are you, beautiful daughters? <clears throat> Their names were Lina and Mina. Hello, everybody. Now, they were the most beautiful ladies in the village. Well, they were very hardworking as well. They cooked and cleaned, fed the chickens. They, they cooked wonderful, yummy things for the villagers. But one thing about them is that they were really close. They loved each other so much. They were like best friends. They even made a vow, a promise, that they would marry a pair of brothers so that they would be able to live together forever. Now, the word about these two beauties got around to the village. And every week, many men and suitors would come to ask the hand of marriage. However, there were no brothers. So all these guys were rejected. Boof! <laughs> One day, however, sadly, their mother passed away, leaving behind the two sisters to live with their distant relative and uncle. One day, Lena was going to fetch water at the beach. La, 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 la. When she noticed some commotion at the beach, a ship had docked, and it was a group of mean and nasty pirates. Ooh, um, okay. Dun, 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 dun. Arrgh, I am a mean and nasty pirate. I'm sick of looking at my salty, ugly, sandy man all day. Ooh, what is this I see? A beautiful girl. I shall get to know her and make her my wife. Hello, beautiful girl. Ah, do you want to be my wife? Ah! Lena was so freaked out. She was so scared and she ran away as fast as she could. No, the pirate chief was really angry and he wanted to get to know this girl. No one slips away from my fingers like sand through my fingers. I will chase after her. And so the pirate chief chased after her. Uh, yeah. Ah! Yeah. 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 Till he came to the uncle's house, he brandished his sword in front of the uncle. Mr. Uncle. I know there is a beautiful girl that stays here. I followed her here. I want to marry her or else. I will never marry you, you ugly pirate chief. You're so ugly and scary. Go back to where you came from. <sniffs> Cried Lena. Now the pirate was furious. No one had ever rejected him before. How dare you? Do you know who I am? I am the fiercest, meanest pirate of the seas. I always get what I want. Just you wait, my precious. <laughs> oh no. Lena and Mina were really, really scared. They cried the whole night. They didn't know what was going to happen. Oh no, we will stick together no matter what. The next morning when dawn broke, the pirates barged into the house. They pushed Mina aside. And they grabbed Lena and hoisted her over their shoulders. And they dragged her to the boat. Help, help! Mina got up and she chased after her sister. Lena, Lena, help, help! Lena, Lena, help, help! They got her in the boat and threw her into the boat. But Mina did not give up. She jumped into the water and started swimming for her life towards her sister. Mina, come back! Lena, come back! The poor sister was on the boat, helpless. She didn't know what to do, but she saw her sister in the distance. She turned around and punched the pirate chief, ooh, and kicked him, ooh, and pushed him down. The pirate fell onto the boat and lost his balance. Now, she didn't know what to do, but so Lena jumped out of the boat into the water and swam towards her sister. Both sisters swam towards each other. The pirate chief was really angry and he wanted to chase after them. 
However, a huge wave came and crashed over the boat. Splush! The whole pirate ship sank. Now, the two sisters were left. Boys and girls, I'm afraid the next part of the story is going to be really, really sad. So you might want to take out your tissues. The two sisters were swimming together for their dear lives. Lena, hold on! Mina, hold on! They held on for their dear lives, but they could not hold on long enough because a storm had erupted and the waves were too strong, the currents were too strong, and tore the two sisters apart as they both sank into the water. Da, 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 da. The storm raged on the entire night. The next morning, when the storm finally subsided, two islands emerged from where the sisters had drowned. The villagers named these islands Sisters Island to commemorate the two sisters and the love between them and the courage and the bravery and the strength that they had. Wow, wasn't that a wonderful story? It's quite sad though. But do you know, it's Sisters Island is a beautiful place that attracts tons of visitors every year. Well, Sisters Island attracts swimmers and divers and climbers that go there. Sisters Island was Singapore's first marine park that was opened in 2014. It's a beautiful coral reef and beautiful underwater sea life as well. So maybe you can ask your mommies and daddies to bring you there on this trip. Well, I hope you enjoyed these wonderful stories about the islands all around Singapore. Remember, these were just legends. So no animals or sisters were harmed in the making of these legends. If you enjoyed today's story, please click like and subscribe to our channel. For more updates on Gateway Kids Club activities, as well as our weekly arts and crafts projects, please follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Mommies and Daddies, Gateway Kids Club is a free program, and your donation helps to keep the club running, as well as support artists like myself. To donate, please click on the link below or visit our website. See you next week for more exciting stories from around the region. Okay. Excuse me, boys and girls, I'm going to get back to relaxing on my island. You are my sunshine. Where's my pineapple slushy? You make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love Ooh, the sound of the waves. Please don't take my sunshine away.